Hi, Duck here. Welcome back to more Stewie Duels. So, uh, yes, even though I stayed up super late playing nothing but Yu Gi Oh! yesterday, we're going right back to the basics. I got some videos to record this week. So, Sunday I usually record Stewie Duels unless there's a YCS. There's not a YCS this weekend, so you're getting your Stewie Duels. I'm sorry you didn't get it last week with the double YCS. I had to do a review. So, that's basically my Sunday video. If there's a YCS, I do a YCS review. If there's not a YCS, I. Do my Stewie duels, so I'm gonna be using some black wings today. I'm just gonna do a single duel. I don't want this video to be like a half hour long. But anyway, I thought it would be a decent idea to go more in depth on the round matchups that no, I guess second that I did yesterday. I recorded that video like midnight and it didn't go up to like I think like 2 a.m. because it was that long. It took forever to upload. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is that like perfect number generator gives me the limited solemn limited emptiness oh the limited foolish freaking number generator i swear to god uh, but anyway this guy is brandy not a child no brad is not a child 56 ah interesting username a thousand rating what the frick a thousand rating are you kidding me i'm only at 100 115 how does that make any sense dn this is my second single duel. Ooh, that's a pretty good top deck. Uh, no complaints with this hand. Hopefully you don't have anything to stop my normal summon. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> so I guess we'll add... What the heck is he ditching? Oh, Scattershot. Oh no, that upon summon. Oh, that's fine. Still technically a neck one. I mean, you get the free show, but not like it really matters. Nah, that's just stalling out the duel. Anyway, I guess it's Volcanics? I guess it's Volcanics. Maybe you're just teching the shell, but whatever. Anyway, at least it's not something too scary. You might actually have a chance this time. But just want to let everyone know that Brad is not a child here. He is not a child. He is a grown man. <laughs> it's like the Mega Capital G parody. Er, it wasn't a parody. It was the remix of Asianized. It's like... He's a grown man, or he is like the only thing Capital G said was he's a grown man the whole time. It's like, are you kidding me? It's like this Brad guy, he's a grown man. That video was insane. Like that was just what the frick. I watched the video, that cancer music with Asian eyes and Meg Capital G. I was like, what the heck is this? And we're getting a little off topic. I want to talk about a funny play that happened during round three yesterday in my tournament. So you know how I've been saying in my Stewie duels how blind mind crushing is always not that bad. Well, there is a time where my blind mind crushing kind of paid off for me and won the duel. Wow, evac upon summon another neg one, but I don't get the search. And your turn. So anyway, round three, game two, I was going up against anti-meta everything. He had a Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer on a safe zone, and then he had a BLS. He summoned the BLS, banished my monster, and then it was my turn. I think I foolish a Sir to get back Dante, and then during his turn, I or no, during his draw phase, I blind mind crushed the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yes, I blind mind crushed the blue eyes white dragon and one cuz of it. <laughs> okay, this is what happened. So I had four cards in my hand. Two of them were BAs. So it was a 50-50 chance. So I shuffled my hand, let him pick pick out a card. He picked out the graph. Then I was able to special summon something, bring out a second BA, and then we use BLS's effect. I uh, use fire like tribute for cost, blow his safe zones and his other two back or safe zone back row in the BLS. Literally win cuz of that. So I, I probably would have lost that duel if I if he would have called a different one because he would have just used BLS effect to banish. Then it would have been my turn. I wouldn't have had anything because that fire lake would have been completely dead. So I literally won a duel by blind mind crushing the blue eyes white dragon. It was it was just so pro. Yeah, that fire lake put in so much work. Like uh, I, I shuffled my hand. I didn't even know which one he picked. He's like, oh please pick the grapher, sir. He picked the graph. I was like, yes. Finally, the blind mind, mind crushing and put in some work. Ooh. Anyway, is the summon fun? Is the summon okay? Yes, it is. Uh, what should we add here? <clears throat> I don't even know I played triple pot of duality. 
can go for Kalut, Gale, Bora. Ah, why not go for Bora? So that was definitely a pretty funny story that happened during round three. <laughs> and in the last round, it was like it's late at night, like 10 at night during the last round. They almost thought about repairing because I think they like messed up and they had like an X3 at table six. And I was like, what, at table four? Yeah, I was at table four. It's like, I heard there was a rumor that someone that was X3 got put at table six for some reason. I was like, how the heck did that happen? But they ended up not repairing. So, why don't you get a scatter shot? I went up against the Klee guy, of course. And then, oh, what the heck am I saying? It's hard to tell stories and then duel at the same exact time. But anyway, yeah, game one I went, then game two I was like, oh, please don't have first turn tower, because my hand was actually pretty good. My hand was really, really good. Game. Game two against the Klee guys, like, oh, as long as you don't have first turn towers, I can 2 0 you. Like, I can almost guarantee you. Oh, heck no. Get that garbage out of here. So, I was like, as long as you don't have first turn towers, I have a chance. Corsi has the first turn towers, and I lose. And it's like, wow, I have to go to game three now. This sucks. Because it's like, oh, what are the odds that I actually get a playable hand game three? Because if I brick game three, I'll be so salty. I'll never hear the end of that. But thankfully, I opened up. You know, fairly decent. I didn't get an MST. I got a mistake at Karma Cut. I went first turn Dante, set the mistake, set the Karma Cut, and face Squarm, add something. He blind MST'd my mistake, and then he summoned something else. My god, man. What the heck is this? I don't think that does anything. And yeah, end phase like Karma Cut, and then next turn I drew into another monster, and I just went flat out yellow like he had one set it was like yeah that set ain't gonna do anything wow really man really freaking freaking ice and what a perfect top deck what a perfect freaking top deck oh my god my god stop not footy <coughs> No, the one card out of everything. But anyway, yeah, that was pretty interesting. But thankfully, I won that game three. Just the OTK power, man. It felt so good winning that. It's one of the best feelings ever. But anyway, I did realize something that you can never win in Yugi tubing. That no matter what you do, there's always going to be complainers. It's like, oh my god, just to think. Just because I had an original build that fitted my play style and the way I've been drawing on DN, people got to complain and say it's a bad deck. When if I would have used the same exact decks that people were using last week or something, if I would have net decked, they would be saying, like, oh, you, you just net decked that. <laughs> what a fail. And then if you make something original, they say, oh, this stuff is garbage. This is garbage. So it's a lose lose. It's either you make your own original stuff and then people say it's garbage, or you're net deck, and then they'll just complain and say that you're just a net decker and you just you suck and all that. So it's like, you, you literally can't win in freaking Yugi Tube. So that's something I learned today. Oh my god. Other stuff I want to talk about. There was not a lot of Satellers at all at that event. Yeah, there's hardly any Satellers, I believe. Like, I don't, I think I only saw one like the entire time. They didn't do anything. And then, I, I believe the most played decks, like the decks that got the most top spots, I think there's like Cosmos, like three BA, BA in the top eight, maybe like two Cosmos. Like, there is quite a bit of Cosmos in the top. I think I'll add the Chris, because what if he has bottomless? Oh, yeah, I was like, I was sitting next to a whole bunch of Cosmos, I believe, in my round 8 matchup. So I was like, God. But just a lot of BA, like a lot of mirror matches. I'm definitely not in the mood to go up against three mirror matches. But I mean, on the bright side, I didn't go up against Necros. I mean, there was Necros there. I think like one got top 8, but mm, I don't know. I'm totally gonna summon Blizzard. Effect. Get back that Pinaki. I want some floaters. Or I conveniently have the emptiness. God, what is up with the number generator in this guy? All the limited cards. Dang. Better not blind MST that Black Sonic. I need that Black Sonic. Anyway, we're approaching 10 minute mark, so we'll take a look.
Okay, so he's gonna attack my Blizzard and uh, Black Sonic. Hopefully, you don't have anything to stop this. God, I love me some Black Sonic. Actually, picked up some Chris's at the regional. Oh, it feels good to actually own two of them. I just need one more, and then I can have some of my my play set of Chris's. Like, I like this deck in general. Like, my Blackwing deck is super weird compared to most Blackwing decks. Like, again, like, my Blackwing deck and my BA deck, I do not recommend that decking at all. If I have any advice to anyone, it would be to not net deck my Blackwing or BA decks, because they are strictly for me and my play style and how I draw. But for other stuff, like my Worm deck and I guess my Fire Fist deck that I'm using in the Tier Draft League, you can, I don't recommend net decking though. I think those are some solid builds and that can go well with anyone. But my Blackwing and my BA deck are wacko. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of the wacko stuff. But anyway, this sh might be game. Probably should have added the clue, but I really wasn't paying attention. Oh, he has the Mirror Force. Uh, let's okay, my Chris still survives, so congratulations. Thanks for wasting that Mirror Force. Oh, thanks for wasting another Mirror Force. You're one nice, jolly fellow. Oh, that's what I love about Chris. Like, God, Chris. My main man. He top decks right in that fire hand. I'm here for that. And this is actually game, because I could just summon the Shira, add a Kloot, and, oop, or I could just special summon the Chris as well. So, this is game. We actually win. Love a minute video. Wasn't that bad. I talked about pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Just that h hilarious blind mind crush of the blue eyes white dragon. Like, I can't believe I completely forgot to tell you about that, but the video was already like 20 minutes long and it was like midnight and I tried to. I, tr I tried to record the video and not act tired, but I I was pretty exhausted. Like, it was a long day. I gotta win. <laughs> yeah, it was a very, very long day. Yeah, ditch that. Got the Chris the Crack of Dawn. But yeah, Stewie wins again. I was just lucky he didn't have another royal. Like royal firestone guards is this card is annoying. But anyway, like oh my god. The wing blast, wing blast, evac, solemn, emptiness, number generator gave him four limited cards. He got three of them pretty early game. Like he got this, these three early game. And then I got the emptiness along with torrential and solemn early game, so <laughs> Uh, what are you going to do? So, uh, big shout out to Nicolo Nicholas Oates. He's online. And I think that'll be a good way to end the video. And, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, this is Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.